Hello friends, my name is Ramsu. Today we shall discuss about the topic the Scrum Master Services to Development Team and Organization. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in Scrum and Agile and you want to know about it. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. Also, you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. So friend, uh, the services as Scrum Master uh, provide for development team and organization. So first of all, the Scrum Master key services to development team and organization, coaching the development team in self-organization and cross-functionality, helping the development team to create high-value products, removing impediments to the development team's progress, facilitating Scrum events as requested or needed, and coaching the development team in organizational environments in which Scrum is not yet fully adopted and understood. Now coaching the team. That means friend, a Scrum team's ultimate goal is to self-organized and collaborative with a high degree of cross-functionality and it is a major responsibility of the Scrum master to help them achieve this. Self-organized means to reduce dependency on outside forces and accomplish tasks without being directed by others who are not on the team. The Scrum Master has to encourage and empower the team to become self-organized. This will help them become more accountable for the work they do and ultimately help them become more productive. The Scrum Master helps the team become cross-functional which helps them deliver incrementally and iteratively, implement feedback from customer and deliver a potentially shippable product at the end of each sprint. Helping the team create high value products. High value products are created when customer feedback is implemented regularly and the product is improved through continuous iterations. This Scrum Master helps the team follow scrum processes and incorporate feedback to produce high value products that appeal to customers. Removing impediments. As a servant leader, the primary responsibility of the scrum master is to help the development team perform. This includes removing impediments that may obstruct the team from performing well. These could be internal or external distractions and the scrum master works towards creating an environment that is free from distractions. Facilitating events. The scrum master facilitates scrum events such as daily stand-ups, uh, retrospectives and other team meetings. These events help the development team members air any uh, grievances or issues that might have and also celebrate successes they may have achieved by releasing project goals. Promoting and aiding adoption of Scrum. Being an expert on Scrum processes and tools, it is the Scrum Master's primary responsibility to ensure that the team adheres to Scrum processes during the development of the product. If the team or the organization itself is new to Scrum, then the development team may face challenges in the project. By helping the development team understand Scrum processes and techniques, the Scrum Master ensures that a Scrum is followed and the project goals are reached. According to Scrum Guide, this is how Scrum Master helps the organization, leading and coaching the organization in its Scrum adoption, planning Scrum implementations within the organization helping employees and stakeholders understand and scrum and empirical product development, causing change that increases the productivity of the scrum team and working with other scrum masters to increase the effectiveness of the application of a scrum in the organization. Coaching, the scrum master has a greater responsibility than that of leading the stream and that is the promotion of a scrum in the organization. They are responsible for ensuring that the agile and mindset is adopted by the entire organization. Planning scrum implementations. 
just like the scrum master coaches the enterprise in scrum they are also responsible for implementing scrum throughout the organization and ensuring that the implementation happen as per scrum values helping us everyone involved in the project understand scrum the scrum master has to ensure that everyone involved in the project including the stakeholders have knowledge of scrum they guide the development team in the implementing scrum and the empirical product development process increasing the productivity of team the scrum master looks for ways to enhance the productivity of the development team this could be by introducing changes they feel is appropriate introducing new tools or by leveraging working in the empirical environment working with other scrum masters the scrum master in the organization implement best practices that help them increase the effectiveness of the scrum enterprise wise challenges faced by scrum master uh, first one is the agile in the scrum adoption problem a scrum master as the name suggest is primarily responsible for ensuring that a scrum is adopted by the development team and the organization as a whole but this is possible only when there is a leadership buy in and the scrum master has encouragement and support in promoting agile when the scrum master becomes dispensable organization often undermine the value and the role of a scrum master and feel that it's not needed but not having a scrum master on the rules may have a negative impact on the adoption and implementation of a scrum scrum events not conducted properly while some may consider meetings such as daily stand ups a waste of time they are an important part of scrum projects and organizations meetings add a lot of value to the scrum project and the process and help identify impediments and remove them scope creep while agile manages to curb scope creep it is possible and may happen this can have huge uh, ramifications on the project and the reputation of the organization while this is not the responsibility of the scrum master but of the product owner the scrum master still helps the product owner in managing the product backlog and hence also must tackle with the scope creep conflict with product owner now this is indeed an undesirable situation the product owner and the scrum master are like the captain and first mate of the ship any differences between them will result in mismanagement of the entire ship in other words the scrum project it will also negatively impact the morale of the development team and the reputation of the organization the product owner and the scrum master should set their differences aside and learn to work together in fighting in the team people are different and there are may be problems between team members this will affect the balance and the productivity of the entire team but the scrum master must be able to use their people management skills and ensure that conflict are resolved and the team work as one distributed team while the pandemic has forced up uh, us all to work in distributed teams the scrum master may still find it challenging to Uh, coordinate and work across geographies and time zone which in turn may reduce productivity of teams if they are unable to collaborate non agile stakeholders it's often tough for a scrum master to convince the stakeholders about the advantages of a scrum especially those stakeholders who are already used to working in waterfall such clients may make it difficult for the scrum master product owner and the team to work in agile and the and achieve the milestones so friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks for watching the video thank you friends